Hello folks, welcome back to Dave's workshop for your next super exciting Panzer update. So let's go have a look and show you what we've got going on today. So first of all, uh, what we've primarily been doing has been replacing springs. On the back here, we have got ourselves some nice new 600 pound 9 inch springs uh, replacing 500 pound 7 inch so these should give us uh, significantly more travel and spring in our step. Now for the controversial part up the front here uh, much to Dave's annoyance yeah uh, we have installed some lowering springs Allegedly, these are supposed to lower the vehicle by 45 millimeters. We're about to find out. Uh, so, unfortunately, at this point in time, I'm not in a position, either time or financially, to replace these struts with coil overs. So, I went for the cheap and nasty option and uh, replaced them with lowering springs. So, we'll see how that works. Also, in the process here of replacing these plastic wheel arch liners, got a bit of body alignment stuff that we need to sort out here. This one is not lining up properly for me. Uh, but over on the passenger side, things are a good bit better. Um, but I need to get some screws to go into this. But you will see here that our alignment is a lot better. So we got some... Other bits of trim to go in, of more pips and clips to go in there, but that's kind of where we're at from a suspension point of view. So I'm going to have to get the wheels back on and sit this thing down and see if it's actually, you know, as Dave says, in the weeds. Uh, down the back, we have, if you've been following me on social media, you'll see that we've installed our new exhaust pipe. And our new exhaust pipe is basically our Chedemo fast charging inlet. So this is where we will be able to pump 125 amps at 400 volts into our battery pack. And we'll have some more detail on that in a forthcoming episode. Uh, we still have some wheel arch liners to go in the back here. Um, but yeah, basically it's just running around at about 100 miles an hour now trying to get all these little jobs done uh, boot floor is finally completed as well we won't be able to see much of that from here i'll have a look when i have the car back down so yeah all right i'm gonna go put wheels on and we'll see what a disaster i've managed to make of this all righty so good news is on the front we are pretty much back down to I would say normal height so that is good obviously these will settle a bit after a drive so we'll, we'll have another look at uh, the back I'm also pleased to say is a little bit high which is good because we can let that down with our coilovers I'm not sure if you're going to see but in there now I can easily get my finger in between the coils of the spring so we have lots of separation in our spring so yeah pretty much suspension is good to go in the boot here uh our boot floor done all this needs to be tidied up still a lot of this wiring needs to be sorted out got our demo controller in here contactor box and the controller itself so yeah we're uh coming along Pretty major one today to get all the suspension work sorted so all right that's where we're at okay there we go the contactors
Here goes the power. 60 amps, 70 amps, 80 amps, 90, 100 amps, 110, 125, and we are basically full. <laughs> we are basically full. That's it, cars full, 125 amps. Alrighty folks, uh, we are here at a fast charger. And, uh, let me get inside the car here, the wind is howling. Uh, for the first time since 2015, we are Chidemo fast charging, and we are Chidemo fast charging the Panzer. Um, as you will have just seen, we got to full 125 amps and 400 volts for 50 kilowatts. Uh, the reason we cut off there was because the car charged. Uh, we were basically full. Um, I've only driven about five, six miles, uh, even by driving fast. The car is still unfortunately too efficient. So let's go have a very quick look. Um, I'll give a one more square to the charger. And uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, <laughs> we got fast charging. All right, so I don't know how much of my voice is gonna come out here, but we got our fast charger in. This is the Panzer. Um, it's in the boot here, paint is still wet. We've got our contactor box, um, got our Tesla high voltage junction box and all that. Got our uh, Chidemo controller in there. Excuse the wiring mess, it still needs to be cleaned up. Um, so here is one of the EFAC kick or whatever it's pronounced, fast charge. ID card. We hear our contactors come in and uh, we jump back in the car. And there goes the current once again winding up. We're winding up to full power. And we get up to 400 volts, 125 amps, and we basically shut down because we're, we're full. So that's it guys, we are fast charging the Panzer. Wow. Okay, next charging stop, we are on three phase 400 volts AC to see how our Tesla charger likes three phase power. And it likes it quite a lot. We're putting in 25 amps at 380 volts right now. Uh, taking just over 10 kilowatts from the mains um, so charging is good to go um, yeah it's just works so that's 10 kilowatts AC 50 kilowatts DC uh, not bad for only having the car back for three weeks okay so we will have a quick walk around show you guys what we've got I uh, gotta apologize for the wind noise just a bit of a crazy windy day here but let's do it and we can wrap this up because I am exhausted <laughs> so all right wheels we've got some new wheels uh, big thanks to Dave for helping me out with these uh, got some 255 40 17 Hankooks on them here on the back new center caps um, my Pirelli 235 45s on the front pretty standard um, up front here we got the painting finished on the battery metalwork also put a uh, cover in here just made out of uh, rubber just to cover up the battery uh, stop any water, rain, that kind of thing that I get brought in here through the front grill from ending up in any of the high voltage components. Uh, didn't turn out too bad actually. Um, again, wheels this side, all good. Um, down the back, we're still working on this. We're on the 
kind of final furlong here. Got most of the painting done, uh, most of the metalworks painted. Um, things are just kind of roughly held in here with ca with cable ties at the minute. Um, they'll be tidied up properly now tomorrow. Uh, put a bit of conduit around here. Uh, Going to lift up the onboard charger and the high voltage junction box. Just put a plank of wood across here so I can do seam sealer and painting underneath it. Drop it all back down. Um, tie up all the wiring and then we'll have ourselves a cover. It'll basically sit across the beams here and we'll have you know a working boot space uh, back again. Over here on the left we have our Chidemo fast charging high voltage junction box with our contactors and shunt and fuse and all that stuff. Uh, Chidemo controller kind of temporarily-ish mounted here um, just to give it somewhere to live for the minute. Basically all these components that you see here like this uh, speed speedometer uh, sender and the Chidemo controller are going to live in behind that uh, strut brace but I just mounted them here for now just for convenience um, so yeah all the metal work done seam sealing filling painting done here just got the bit here to do our fast charging port as you will have seen there is working away perfectly we have functional Chidemo 50 kilowatt fast charging now um, working on the Panzer. So, uh, inside the car, uh, inside the car I got a new um, kind of center console piece here. Uh, rather unbelievably these are only about 30 euros from BMW but uh, people are looking for 200 250 for these things online secondhand um, just proves that you know sometimes the main dealer isn't always the worst uh, case we've gone back here got my mid um, just a cassette deck that I was able to pick up cheapish uh, this is going to get modified with a Bluetooth um, system so we'll be able to have like MP3s and that played through this. Normal heating ventilation controller. Got our E60 M5 shifter. And I've just got to get this boot uh, fitted properly in here. Um, everything else on the dash. We have fuel gauge working tachometer working basically the tachometer reads half the motor rpm so if it's saying 3000 rpm that really means 6000 speedo works um check that against uh one of those um gps speedos and also checked it against one of those things on the roadside that tell you your speed um only working instrument our only instrument here of the four that's not working is the temperature gauge and that's simply because I ran out of time. It just needs a term thermistor uh, connected up so you know just didn't didn't get there. Um, here on the center I've got a phone holder where I'll be putting a small Android phone that'll have the the uh, display of battery parameters. It's quite you know be fairly um in obtrusive there um and that's kind of it guys um i know it's been a bit of a crazy video bits and pieces in it but it's just been the last three weeks have been absolute mayhem just trying to get the car ready for the fully charged show um so i think we've pretty much done it uh we are ready to go so i leave you there um Thanks a lot everyone that's, you know, encouraged, supported me along the way. It's very much appreciated, uh, particularly the people that have stuck with me on Patreon. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, check the links in the description for Open Inverter Forum, uh, GitHub, 
Patreon, PayPal, whatever else I can think of. Oh, also, I'm going to start putting a link in the description um, to the Tesla Bimmer channel. Uh, it's a customer of mine in the, U, in the U.S. that has a E30 uh, with a Tesla Drive unit in it. So do check his channel out. So that's it, guys. Um, until next time, happy pans are fast charging.